If you run an online business and you're not making YouTube videos, you're actually stupid. Yeah, you heard that right, you're stupid. What else are you gonna do with your time other than promote your business? And the best way to do it is through YouTube. And here's exactly why. I don't know the statistic, but I'm pretty sure every single month there's 1 billion active YouTube users. That's one seventh of the world. Everybody uses YouTube. So what you need to understand is that for every minute that you aren't on YouTube, your competitors are, and they're stealing your business. So you need to be on YouTube. There's no what ifs, ands, or buts, whatever people say. Also need to be on Instagram. Instagram and Twitter. I used to neglect Instagram. I didn't think it was that important because I was doing pretty good on Twitter. I was doing pretty decent on YouTube. So I never tapped into Instagram. I recently tapped in. I just made like eight videos. I already closed one deal, already booked two, three calls. All these leads are actually good. And I did this by literally just making eight short form videos. I posted once a day, eight days, closed one deal, got another one who is super qualified, makes in between 50 to 75K a month. The secret to beating your competitors is just showing up more and just doing the stuff they don't want to do. Nobody wants to sit in front of a camera and record a YouTube. YouTube video. Nobody, I promise you. Everybody wants to go, go outside, go send emails, maybe send some DMs or make a tweet because it's easy. But getting in front of a camera, you know, blocking out like 30 minutes, one hour where nobody can contact you, that's difficult. It's like there's like a mind barrier, right? An invisible barrier. If you want to beat your competition, you need to show up and do the stuff that they don't want to do. And one of those things is producing content on the internet. If you look at big guys, as soon as they let off the gas pedal a little bit on posting on YouTube or really just any content platform, their sales go down. Sam Ovens, for example, he said on his podcast that at one point they were just cutting off different things from their marketing. For example, they cut YouTube, they stopped email, they test different stuff, they cut Facebook. Only thing that they cut that actually made a significant difference in their not only revenue, but also just how happy their customers and audience were was YouTube. Sam Ovens was getting emails. Oh, I missed your videos a lot, but nobody cared really about the other stuff. YouTube is just amazing. It's what everyone grew up with. It's what everyone's used to using. We use it as a search engine. If you need something, how to do X, Y, Z, how do you script out a YouTube video? How do you land your first ghostwriting client. You use YouTube as a search engine, you get fed a video. And then if the title and thumbnail resonates with you, you click it. And then if you get feedback from the video that the title and thumbnail was accurate to what you were looking for in the first place, they'll watch the whole video. So as long as you can make content that your target audience resonates with, and you're actually not just chatting shit and you're saying like real shit, then you can get clients through YouTube. And that's all you need. I've had dozens and dozens of potential clients and even clients I've closed that came through YouTube or really even also came from Twitter or Instagram and they're like, hey, I watch your YouTube video on your thumbnail psychology guide and you went so in depth on this, that, and they bring up specific points from the video, stuff that was at the end, stuff that was in the middle. So I know these videos make a difference. And the best part is whether or not the lead comes from paid ads, Instagram, Twitter, doesn't matter, name any platform, they somehow just end up watching your YouTube. Why? Because it's so ingrained inside of our brains that we need to search stuff up on YouTube. It's like that one platform that's always there. It's like your best friend who like never turns his back on you. So long story short, you need to start posting YouTube videos. Okay, look, if you cannot afford an editing team, if you cannot afford script writers, ideation, all that stuff, even though it doesn't break the bank too hard, you're in that point of your business where you just don't feel like spending money. Your capital is better spent somewhere else. That's completely fine. However, that's not an excuse to not post on YouTube. I've had people that hopped on sales calls with me. Maybe I say the price point or maybe we don't come to an agreement. And then they go like, yeah, I'm just going to do this in-house. You know, it's, it's not even difficult. And they're like, watch me. Like I'm gonna have a video up next week. I check their channel next week. No video. I check it like three months later because I randomly remembered while I was in the shower. Nothing. You you need a team behind you. And this is the next thing I'm gonna get into. How do you think Iman Gadzi made over 10 mil just off of his YouTube? Basically all of his wealth stemmed from his YouTube channel, pretty much. How do you think he did that? You need a team behind you. And if you're the only one who's managing the entire system, it's not going to work. You're a business owner. You cannot sit here and edit a video, think about what to talk about, come up with the ideas, do the keyword research, see what your competitors are doing, all that stuff. No, you need to literally have everything handed to you on a silver platter and record. You have other stuff to do. Your time is maybe worth a thousand, 1500, 2000 an hour, or even if it's worth 300, 500 an hour, you have better uses of your time than doing all this stuff that can be delegated to a team. You need a team. This solopreneur stuff is cool. If you actually want to do good on YouTube, you actually want to do good in business, really, you need a team and everybody will tell you that. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is that a lot of people just completely overthink YouTube. Yes, there's a lot of nuance to it. Yes, you need expertise and reps to actually know what you're talking about. We've uploaded, I don't even know how many YouTube videos, but we've written thousands of scripts. We've uploaded thousands of videos. We know what we're talking about. Am I saying I have more experience than a lot of people who are posting on YouTube right now or not even posting? 
Yes. And by putting the reps in, what I've learned is that you really just need to think and go down to the core needs of a business owner and your target market. So let's say you're selling cold email, just make videos about every single aspect of cold email. And the way you want to format the ideation, how to, why, and then a sentence. So you want to format your ideas in a way that people actually search for them. That's the best way to go about it. So for example, if I was starting a Google ads agency, I would make a YouTube video covering literally everything, right? It doesn't matter if the video is two minutes long, it will actually help you out. And the best part is you can embed these videos on your landing page too. So going back to the Google ads example, you'll make a video, how to script out a YouTube ad, how to do X, Y, Z specific thing in the ads manager. Oh, you see, while you were learning Google ads, you ran into this bottleneck, write it down and then make a video about it. Oh, how to upload a custom audience to your Google ads campaign. You just need to think down to the core needs of your target audience and then supply them videos that solve their problem, but also show that you know what you're talking about in the first place. So in this way, they're like, actually, you know what? I don't want to do Google ads myself, or maybe my team's time needs to be spent elsewhere. I'm going to pass it on to this guy. You know, I've just watched like 15 of his videos in a row and he's talking about the exact pain points I have. So he clearly knows what he's talking about. He's also flexing his case studies. And even if you don't have any case studies, this is still the best method to start up because you're just making videos, showing people literally exactly what they need to do in order to get results from their campaign. It's extremely simple. Post more YouTube videos. For me at the time of recording, I actually haven't recorded in like a week and a half. I'm not even going to make any excuses or maybe two weeks going into 2024 and really just starting as soon as I'm back home, I'm traveling right now is I'm going to try and post two videos a week or I will post two videos a week. You see there, I said the word try, like I'm going to try and post two videos a week. You have to say, I will post two videos a week. Yeah. If I don't, I'm going to get called out because I'm recording this on camera. You just need to think about the core needs of your audience and turn that into content. Next topic is that there's direct revenue from YouTube and indirect. So direct, for example, we've helped our client Daniel add $108,000 in 82 days through his YouTube channel. And then there's indirect, which is like the 700,000 total views we've gotten on that channel in the past six months since we've been working together. It's like all those people, you know, they watch one video, they watch the next one, and then maybe they go on Twitter and then they get hit by his email because they opted in through the YouTube video, or maybe not through the YouTube video, like through Twitter. So then now it's going to be attributed to Twitter, but really like they came from YouTube, or maybe someone came from Twitter and then they started watching the YouTube videos and then they booked a call. Or maybe they're watching the YouTube video and then instead of hitting the link in the description, they're like, all right, I'm going to see what this guy's about. They start searching up like Daniel Fazio, client ascension, and then they hit the URL, the first thing that pops up, and then they book a call. And now it's going to say it came through Google, but really it came through YouTube. YouTube is like a spider web connecting all of your marketing efforts. You got paid ads on Instagram, Facebook, you got Twitter ads, you got YouTube ads, you got your cold email, you got your LinkedIn automated outreach. Now YouTube is going to spider web everything together and make it the center of everything. You could siphon your traffic down towards YouTube and you would nurture them so, so, so well. And then they're going to book a call once they're ready to buy or whenever you launch your program. YouTube holds everything together because let's say someone gets hit by a cold email. What do they do? They search you up. Or let's say they get hit by your LinkedIn DM. They search you up. Maybe they look at your website and then now they see your face on your website. Nobody really puts their face on their website. Everybody's scared. So by putting your face on your website, that instantly differentiates you from literally everyone else. When you run a paid ad, someone sees your ad on Instagram, they're going to search you up on YouTube or they're going to search you up on Google and conveniently Google owns YouTube. So you're going to pop up regardless. In summary of this point, you need to make YouTube content because it is the spider web between all your marketing channels. And if you don't make YouTube videos, you're just going to have higher CPMs. You're going to have a lower booked call rate from your cold email. Like instead of having to send a thousand emails to close one client, you're going to have to send 2000. All in all, you need to post on YouTube. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed, just make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see how you can script out a YouTube video, just hit the next link on screen. Now, look, you've watched this video and now you're tempted to get started on YouTube. What you need to do is watch this video on screen right now, where I'm going to show you how to script out a YouTube video from A to Z. Okay. I'm literally going to show you everything. Funny part is we don't even script word for word. We do the hook word for word, the body as bullet points and the outro word for word. And then we have two call to actions in the outro. So one is exactly what I'm doing right now, pushing you to another YouTube video. And the second one is going to be hit the first link in the description. If you want to book a call with me and my team, learn about what we can do for you. That's it. Peace.